Hi there everyone. Today we are going to look at splits in Quicken and talk about what they are, why you'd want to use them, and how to go about doing it. So sit tight and we'll jump right in. Okay, so splits or split transactions in Quicken are simply a mechanism to take a single transaction with a dollar amount and break it into multiple smaller transactions for categorization and reporting purposes. Unlike tags, you don't need to configure or set anything up to use splits because you are splitting based on the existing categories and tags that are already in the system. So why would you even want to do this? Well, many transactions that show up in our bank accounts or on our credit cards are for $1 amount, but they actually may cover many different sub-transactions. Uh, probably one of the most common examples of this is your paycheck. The amount deposited into your bank account, as you're probably aware, is not the total amount you made. It's how much you earned minus taxes and the cost for various benefits like health and dental. Using splits allows us to account for those additional amounts. So this is important when it comes to reporting to provide an accurate representation of where dollars are being applied. Take for example that trip to Walmart I made last week. I spent $200 at the store, but I bought $100 worth of groceries, uh, 20 bucks on a movie, uh, some pet supplies for $50, and a fishing rod for $30. Without splits, I would only be able to classify that entire $200 as a single transaction category where it clearly needs more than that. So let's see how we go and enter this into Quicken. Unfortunately, this is a manual process. If you simply download a transaction into your register, you will need to go back and enter the split data or manually enter it from the start like we're gonna do here. To do so, instead of selecting the category, click the split button and this will display the split transaction window. Here we can create all of the individual line items that make up our transaction, like the ones I had mentioned in our Walmart trip. If you entered a dollar amount or are editing an existing transaction, the total will already exist or be calculated in Quicken and that will tell you how much you have left to go and account for. You can change the total at any time by clicking this adjust button, which will add up all the lines and calculate the new total based for the line items that you've put in. Once you're done, click OK and enter to commit to the transaction and you're all set. Now when you run reports or analyze spending, these amounts will be displayed properly in those reports. As always, thanks for watching and leave any questions or comments in the section below.